Hi, welcome to Laura's View and Tierra Two. I'm really glad you're here. Today's date is Friday, February 24th, 2023. And I wanted to do a little exploration today about an alt media uh, nugget of information. <laughs> and Chloe wants me to do it too, apparently. <laughs> okay, um, alt media is reporting that um, the franchise McDonald's has been cleaned up. And that's because it's been taken over by the White Hats. Now, they're not talking about the hygienic situation in the restaurants. They're not talking about the nutrition of the food, but they're talking about some of the components of the food. Because for years, there's been talk that some meats in the McDonald's products aren't all that they we're told that they are. I think you know what I'm referring to. I have to talk carefully. Now McDonald's says that's hogwash. And Snopes says that's hogwash. And a um, report saying that there was um, other elements in the food was uh, widely distributed from a, and about from a satire site. And I don't know about you, but I've been around the block enough times that I could easily see where with all the mega bucks that McDonald's has, that they would plant a rumor and then that they could debunk to take the eyes off a situation that may actually truly exist. Now, I found a couple of instances where it truly did exist. Let me show you what I'm talking about before we get into the tarot read. Okay, as always, I'll have a link to this compilation um, on my personal Facebook page. Here is a YouTube um, press release that was done uh, when Japan had to apologize because a human tooth was found amongst other things in some of their meat products. Then in 2016, an independent lab, I wish it was more recent, but it's 2016, reported that, yeah, your burger may contain human or rat. And it even talked about how there were some leeway in the um, percentages of substances that are allowed in food processing. I mean, I was kind of aware of that without being specific, but that was really disturbing to read that, uh, because as far as I'm concerned, if it comes to things like rats and human meat, 0% is the right percentage and the only percentage and something that I want to ingest. Okay, so if this is true, that the food supply for such a huge franchise has been taken over by the White Hats and cleaned up, it is another huge step forward for the process of going from dark to light. Now, understand when I ask this question about the universe, I'm not gonna ask them to comment on the nutritional value of the food because that has not been improved. So don't take this as an endorsement to go out and start eating fast food. So let's check into this uh, report that the food supply at McDonald's has been cleaned up and taken over by the White Hats. Let's see what the cards have to say. Okay, chatter in alt media is that White Hats have taken over McDonald's and cleaned up the food components. And let's see what the universe has to tell us about that situation and other information or insights as deemed appropriate. <laughs> is it true? Okay, we have the Seven of Wands, Eight of Cups, the Star, Queen of Swords, Four of Wands, the Empress, and Six of Wands. 
You probably don't even need me to tell you what it's saying, do you? But I will. Okay, so the overall impression from the read is yes, indeed. This chatter on alt media that McDonald's has been taken over by the White Hats and um, the food elements are now not as <laughs> nefarious as they've been in the past. Okay, let's take a look at what made me say that in the cards. It'll make you smile like it made me as I was putting these down. So first of all, the situation. We got a good determination card here. We were asking, was it true? Yeah, the White Hats were determined to have such a huge franchise start selling clean food products. Clean as in the things that they say are in there are truly all that's in there, okay? Hopefully they got rid of not just uh, different types of meats, but the uh, graphene oxide that is being added to so many elements of our food and water and air these days. So that's my hope, okay? <laughs> and because of that, <laughs> McDonald's had to turn away from some of their uh, uh, previous agreements and negotiations. And I, I get a feeling like there's been um, a little bit of change of executives. Okay, not everybody was in on the dark side of McDonald's, but those that were have been turned away. Look in the recent past, the star card's showing up again, remember? The 17th Major Arcana, which tells us uh, why it, it's one of my white hat cards these days. It absolutely is, and it stands, it especially stands for things involving uh, 17. And look, she's got clean water. Um, just a very innocent, pure, not worried about that, uh, you know, purity being evident. And uh, that's the recent past. So yeah, that, that indicates the cleanup and the white hats were on it. Another white hat card here with the queen of swords showing up. And she is a uh, very clear thinking and strong strength. They were determined and strong. So there's a lot of strength in the white hats. You know, I think they've been allowing the other side to think that they're stretched to the limit of their resources, and they're really not. And we're helping with that as we collectively wake up and not just ask, but say we insist on the best possible outcome for humanity, for our food, air, water, our earth, our little ones. We want the best possible outcome. We, we're tired of being stifled and held back. And that's being honored and celebrated. Look here with the near future. We've got a victory card here. We've got the Empress, which kind of indicates my Mother Earth energy, the maternal energy here, and just a beautiful, beautiful looking forward. Uh, more and more of our food products are going to be cleaned up. It is ongoing, folks. It is, despite the uh, efforts of the dark side to just uh, Harvest as much loose as possible and create, you know, offend God as much as possible. Because at the end of it, that's what this is. It's a war between good and evil and evil hates, you know, the creative force of the universe, which is, for me, <laughs> our loving creator or God. Okay, don't want to get too, uh, too partisan there for you. So hang with me. Let's look at a couple other cards here. Ah, we got the strength card again, kind of bolstering what I was saying. The white hats are determined and, and strong, and uh, um, they have reason to be very optimistic looking forward. And the King of Cups showing up here, okay? King of Cups is uh, my ultimate poker player. <laughs> if I had a poker player buddy, he's the one I'd want. He's really in charge of, of his emotions, okay? Now, he can use them to some extent to manipulate others, and I think quite honestly, if you were sitting down with someone that had uh, sold out and said, look, here's the deal. <laughs> you can come on board this show and uh, uh, be part of the light or you can face consequences of your choices. So he's really good to have in your corner when it's time to negotiate. And, uh, and we say no deals, but we do know that there's people that get caught up in situations that uh, they wouldn't have without being severely compromised. And I think there are some people like that that can be salvaged and would welcome a chance to uh, step away from the various activities. That's just me. I like to think that most people want to be in the light and kind of got sucked down the wrong, the wrong path. Maybe that was their uh, contract for this lifetime. 
Who knows? So let's recap. According to the cards, that chatter is absolutely true. White hats have taken over the uh, uh, ingredient worries at McDonald's and uh, not saying they're more nutritious, but there's not going to be proteins in there that uh, we have not given explicit consent to. The all beef patties will be all beef. The chicken nuggets will be all chicken. <laughs> Yay! Okay, and we also, as an added bonus, got some indication that more cleanup is happening with our um, our earth and our food supply and what have you. So as much as they try to make us think that, oh dear, oh dear, there's shortages and what have you, in part, I think it's because cleanup's going on, but it definitely is ongoing. And in our world, there's nothing stopping it. We are going from dark to light in every aspect of our being. And I think it's fabulous, and I'm glad to be part of it. And I'm glad you're part of it, too. No matter where along that continuum, you are. That's it for this video. Thank you so much for your time and attention. I do appreciate it. I send you love and light and all things bright.